Hello, dear folks. My dear audience is welcome to the show. Jack Child on East West with GNE TV. It's been quite a while. We have been looking around over the federal e federal issues, and uh, by that I mean the local issues are kind of like you know still quiet. But yet we know something's going on around us. At least in the county, beautiful county of San Bernardino, we have one new hand, Mr. Kurt Hagman, as the county supervisor, already in the office for almost five months or six months. No, five months, yes. All right, good. Uh, so, Kurt, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me back, Jack. It's been a while, and thank you for having me. All right, good. And the former mayor of the city of Chino Hills and the former assembly man of the 55th District of California, serving that position for six years right. and uh, terming out, uh, took another job as the supervisor of San Bernardino County. I know. My first question, you know, very personal, I, um, very personal, you know me. Uh, how do you compare these two jobs? Um, apples and oranges in a lot of ways. Uh, Apple and orange a lot of yeah. ways. Yeah. Some things are similar, like I'm busy every day, mm -hmm. you work lots of hours, busy on the weekends, a lot more community events, so it gets you back home more, which is great. I'm home every night. Different, l less policy and more executive branch. Mm -hmm. So the last six years has been all policy. So I you, see. you come with these theories and you go bake your bills and mm. you hopefully get them signed into law, but then you move on to your next bill. You don't know what happens with it. So I'm on the side see. now of dealing with the laws that I debated with mm. two or three years ago. Uh -huh. The county has taken uh, impact to it. I see, I see. And uh, another word, in back there in Sacramento, though, you're talking about casting a bill and then talk about the vote, once it's voted, denied, or whatever, you move on to the next one, right? It's bill after bill after bill after bill. Yeah, it's all like policy. Like that kind of, all the politics. And here you're talking about the concrete stuff, issue by issue. We do do some policy work, um, but uh -huh. we're also looking at the day-to-day -day operations of, you know, my budget is much bigger, my staffing is much bigger, mm -hmm. I have the largest county in the United States, I'm yes, one of five yes. people versus one of 80 people. Mm -hmm. uh, so your hands-on are much more, and you get a lot more things accomplished I see. from policy to actually execution. Mm -hmm. And um, we're working several big projects on that. So mm -hmm. it's, I like it much better. It's probably the best political job you could have as mm -hmm. far as uh, a politician because you have the you can set a big vision you have enough resources mm -hmm. um you know my, my budget's billions of dollars um and at the same time you can actually help the individual person you need to help sometimes uh -huh. so it really brings it home in other words instead of uh, uh riding on a boat with uh, 80 sailors you're on one with five one of five yes. and you are not the captain yet no, we rotate the chairman the every year. The captain has one vote anyway, right? Yes, only one vote. Uh -huh, and see. we're pretty much the captain of our territory. I see. So we split up a county by population. So I mm. have one-fifth of the population. And our colleagues, we, rep we respect what each supervisor does for their district. Sure, so if we have sure. a recommendation for our mm -hmm. district, mm -hmm. then we usually go with it. I see. What's the total size of the population of San Bernardino County? I think please? it's roughly about 2.4 million. Well, that's a lot. That's the biggest in the United States, no, as, no, a, as a county. No, well, the largest geographical area well, in the United States, we're like mm -hmm. the fifth largest population-wise in LA, I mean, in California. Mm -hmm. We're larger population-wise than two states, and we're larger geographically than three states. Oh, I see. So all it's, right. it's mm -hmm. all about scale. So we, uh -huh. we have more people in our county than Rhode Island does, for example, mm -hmm. um, the whole entire state. So yeah, it mm -hmm. is a different scale. It's different. My West End, mm -hmm. the area I represent, is much different than our desert area, mm -hmm. and their needs are different than what my needs are. And of course, by size of Vandegon, you're bigger than the country. <laughs> 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 anyway, so now, uh, compared to the uh, to all the other issues, you started with a budget, right? So when you look at the San Bernardino County budget issue, though, do you think San Bernardino County has a better chance than any other folks on the same level as the counties? Um, San Bernardino is in good fiscal shape. They've taken uh, measures four mm -hmm. or five years ago mm -hmm. um, to really get things under control. I There's long-term operational costs and short-term, and those are the debates we have to do with our, with our employees. We have 33,000 employees that work for San Bernardino County mm -hmm. and for, with their contract negotiations and such, um, but we're trying to put money away to redo new buildings and have other capital improvements as well as operational mm -hmm. dollars. So we're doing much better right now than a lot of the the local governments, uh, both cities and counties throughout the state. Um, there's still a lot more improvement, 
And I think uh, we've talked this on the show many times. My, my idea of improving our budget is by growing the economy, really yeah. working hard on economic mm -hmm. development, make it a, um, inviting the people to come out and do business mm -hmm. in San Bernardino mm -hmm. County. So that's where I've been focused on personally a lot of the last uh, uh -huh. five months. I see, I see. When you mentioned about uh, you that, that you have uh, more of the operational cost to be considered a budget to consider of, are you referring to the fact that you have more vacant land, more vacant, unutilized land as compared to rest of the folks at the county levels? Right? Um, well, San Bernardino is, has large geographical areas, yes, mm -hmm. but what a county functions as is the operational arm of the state. Mm -hmm. So the state makes the policies, but divide up the resources for those policies and give mm -hmm. it to the county. So we are the actual operators. Everything mm -hmm. from our correctional system to our health care system to mm -hmm. our roads and highways, mm -hmm. um, sewer, water, you know, um, vector control, which deals with the bugs. I mean, you name it, we have to deal with all the operations. So mm -hmm. state does very little operating. They do set the vision, yeah. uh, determine what those resources are and say, go do it. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that's the fun part of it. So we have a lot of resources. I, mm -hmm. I sit on one that we sit on lots of boards and committees as well. Uh -huh. I sit on our SAM bag, we call it, San Bernardino Associated Governments, that does mostly all the um, infrastructure transportation for San Bernardino County. Mm -hmm. I sit on another committee called SCAG, which is Southern California Regional Governments, and that is um, all the counties south. California get together with the cities mm. and make a strategic plan for Southern California. So I'm on the board of that. Uh -huh. And the other big one I have is IEHP, Inland Empire Health Plan, which basically is the largest insurance health insurer for probably one of the largest in the United States mm -hmm. as the number of people in it. Mm -hmm. Our budget for that's three or four billion dollars a year just mm -hmm. for health care. Mm -hmm. So you coordinate all these different things and there's a lot of different kind of operations all in mm -hmm. one umbrella called I the see, county. I see. And it's it's fun to learn. I'm still learning a lot of the functions that mm -hmm. we do. I found out we have lots of law, law libraries. I have six <laughs> airports. Uh -huh. um, you're going through, just a, it's a learning curve the mm -hmm. first few months. Um, I was familiar with the county, but being at this level now, it's great. In other words, you are going all out as a new supervisor of the county of San Bernardino. Yeah, and I bring yeah. different experiences to the mm -hmm. county level. Um, my other colleagues are not legislators mm -hmm. um, or haven't been a legislator, so they don't have that unique experience. Sure, sure. Um, I bring the local government as well. Mm -hmm. I know in this last election when I was elected a supervisor, I had sure. some of my friends on the Orange County supervisor be elected to the legislature and some of the legislators moved mm -hmm. down to different counties. Mm -hmm. um, I'm dealing a lot with LA right now, Los Angeles City, because mm -hmm. they own our airport. Our yeah, you have airport. the airport issue that we're gonna mention there later. Yeah. yeah, and 15 of those, mm -hmm. uh, or eight out of the 15 of those council members in mm -hmm. LA are mm -hmm. former colleagues of mine in the legislature. Uh -huh. So we have okay. this little network. Of oh, you have a better chance, all yes. right, good. So my dear audience, today, one of, uh, today my uh, guest of honor is uh, Mr. Kurt Hackman, uh, County Supervisor of San Bernardino. He is the newly elected, however, he is ready to go and he has done so much already. It looks to me that he is going all the way out, all out to uh, improve the city uh, and the county of San Bernardino. So we're taking a little break and when we come back we'll find out what exactly those issues after issues, the, the big ones I'm talking about, uh, that the city and um, the county considers to uh, develop in terms of, uh, of calling about catching up with the blooming economy, right? So stay with us. <laughs> 